This is the kind of done the oil leak on. I replaced the seal behind the defaser pillar here, but it's still leaking. If I give it a few days, you can see a patch of oil. It's a really slow leak. You can see the wetness at the back in these areas and down there. So I haven't got a clue where it's coming from now. So now I'm going to try clean it off a bit and run it. Try and figure out where it's coming from. So when you can't find your oil leaks, there's oil all over the engine. You can spray it down with baby powder. So it's totally covered. And start the car. Not too much that it's going to ruin the belt by making it come off the pillars. But enough that you can see it dusted over things. I'm going to start the car and I'll see where the wetness of the oil is originating from first. The rest of the engine is still fairly white. I can't see any signs of oil coming through. Had a better look than where I can get the camera in. But it all seems okay. This is the only bit. Right there. I'll keep it down for a while and see where else I can find it. Okay, that's where it's leaking inside the pulley. Right about in that area in there. This is the pulley, the actual pulley that you can see here on the car. I've covered it in talcum powder to see where it's leaking. This is what it looks like off the car part of it. Right, that's what it would be if take the parts off. This is an old one. So the only part that could be leaking is between this seal and the case. The engine case, cam cover, I mean, or between the lip of the seal and the shaft. Because this is the actual shaft that the lip sits on, you see there. And this bit that we see around here, wouldn't matter if these bolts were loose, because the oil doesn't go through those, it stays on the other side of them. Right? I, mean, I could check the tight, but I don't think it'll be that. It's all... It's already assembled, you know, and that's one solid piece. It's not like that's two pieces. So I think it's definitely something in the seal or the camshaft. Or in this case, the phaser pulley, because that's the phaser pulley that it sits on. Okay, I'll just zero that. The DTI's rang on the pulley on the camshaft. Okay, I've turned that a little bit and it's about too far of movement. So far it's looking good. Until I get to there, and then I'm about five far. Right up to five far of movement. Don't know if you can still see it. Nearly up to 10 foul. When I'm back around again, it goes back to zero. Okay. You get the idea. So that's how I set it up to run on the pulley. There's about 10 power of movement on that pulley. 10 power of, of warp, or of being eccentric. Well, this belt broke when I bought the car. Well, before I bought the car, it had a broken belt. So I'm wondering now if it's bent the end of the camshaft when this when the valves all broke. Uh, because the camshaft's hollow for the oil to feed through to the end of it, depending if it's going to this side of the phaser pulley or the inner side. It's high pressure oil, driven by an oil pump that's inside the head, driven by the cam, 
and it's coming out of there, but if there's 10 foul for warp on there, I think I'm not going to fix this unless I get a, a new camshaft. Anyway, I just thought I'd show you a way to check when you've got a slight leak on an engine and you want to see where it's coming from. Talcum powder on the engine. That's a way of seeing it, because you see the talcum powder change color and wash clean in the area first when it's oil all over the engine and you can't tell where it first started seeping out of. Um, this is a better way of doing it. I didn't do it very often though, but it's a way of doing it when you're totally stuck so that I know it's worth me taking this apart and looking at that seal again before I do it.